The Misfits. Ha <laughs> ha! Maidenhead. That's it? Yeah, I guess Can't look that's at it. the back? Oh. oh. Okay. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. So in our backpack, can fun. What? Can we see? So go to the. Okay, so we have all of them. Okay. What was the combination? Uh, go to the thing zero fifty one. No one. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's after they dyed her hair. She's cute. Lonnie came over today. But everything was... different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think... You... Could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Notice they're stolen. Yeah, I was about to say. When I was a teenager, I used to like steal clothes for no reason. I used to like steal things and be like, yeah, I'm like so bad. <laughs> And then I, oh my god, like, freshman year I was like, yeah, I'm like such a badass, I have red hair, and I would like, I like stole a porno mag and gave it to my boyfriend being like, hey, I stole this for you, no big deal, I'm like so bad, and he was like, whatever, I'm emo, and I'm oh. going to my band <laughs> practice, and I'm like, cool, here's your porn magazine that I stole for you, we're definitely <laughs> like... We're so, so together. Rock. We're so like, so like whatever. And, blah. and then like I discovered anime, and then I just never did any of that shit again. And you were like, later. <laughs> this is my life now. <laughs> this is my life now. Anime is my life now. <laughs> the only thing I ever stole is I stole a magazine, and like I didn't even really need to do it. I just like took it, and then I felt. <laughs> oh boy. Gosh, Sam is the internal dialogue. But anyways, I stole the magazine and then I felt really bad about it and I never stole ever again. I stole way too much for way too long. Yeah. <laughs> way too long. I just like I felt bad about it like ever like I feel bad about it now. I ac I remember I accidentally walked out of a store with a necklace on. I was at the mall. I walked. I had been trying it on, 
and I walked out of the mall into my car, started driving away, and then freaked the fuck out because I saw it in my rearview mirror, like around my neck. Mm-hmm. Went back, walked into the store, handed it to them, like shaking, and was like, "Please don't arrest me." But I accidentally left with this on. I'm so sorry. And they were kind of like, "Okay, this necklace is like twelve dollars. You're fine." Oh my god, I stole way too much for way too long. I understand that for some kids it's a phase, but it's like, there was no, I was just like, yeah, I'm badass. I'm so bad. I steal porno magazines and weird shit. What are you going to do about it, authority? And then I was like, oh my god, is this anime? The end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? And I never what is this thing I've discovered. Okay, so we have the basement key. I just want to see if we can go into the attic. Yeah, of course. It just seems like I ever since that light flipped off, it just freaked you out. Yeah, yeah. it really bugged me. Oh, it's locked. So I so, guess Sam. Sam's Sam. dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Uh, it makes me scared that we're gonna find her, like, killed herself up there or something. Yeah. I hope not. That would be a super depressing end to this game. But there were all There's not any hints that her parents are being like, You can't do that! You can't get girls! Where's the basement? Is this the it's basement? Probably, it's probably that door. Or it might be around the other side. Where? Oh, basement. Yeah, you're right. Okay, what were you going to say? Um, yeah, I haven't really, it doesn't seem like her parents were, I haven't heard really any mentions of them, aside from like, like, aside from the kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, Sam hasn't mentioned them at all, so. Sweet. Just making there's no like creepy dude uh, laying like hey, hey. Uh, spooky lesbian ghosts. Uh, I can't deal with this. I don't even like going down into like your own my thing. own basement. Not the basement in my house now, but. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving all day with your lovely family. I enjoy the full flavorful potatoes. potatoes. And also, it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how possible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 <laughs> seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and con- confidant, Lonnie D. Hmm. Quite. A fancy man. I'm worried that Lonnie doesn't have a family. Hmm. Yeah. Or like just... maybe that's why she's part of ROTC. JROTC. Cause joining the army, I mean. I know she's not in the army now, but it's like. <laughs> Aw. It's happening. Wait. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. Oh. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Mom, we're having a sleepover. Don't come in. Caitlin. Kind. Amazing. Stuff. Oh, that's the reproductive. Yeah, but let's check out our story. The menstrual cycle. And ovum starts to develop while ovum blah, blah, blah. So basically... So basically, we write... The, just what happens. 
as opposed to a fucking kick-ass story. That story was about awesome. a World War II woman who joins the Polish resistance. That was radical. And gives up her rations to try and to save nurse. the man she loves. Yes, dude, that was radical. And her ovum disappears into the blackness of the night. And I was like, dude, <gasps> awesome. Yeah, it's the most awesome story it's ever. The most like radically, radically written reproductive cycle. Even story. her uterus was down with joining the resistance. <laughs> Her lining shed for her country. And I was <laughs> like, yeah! <laughs> There's towels frickin' everywhere. Dear Samantha, congratulations! I am pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track of the Reed College Summer Program. Blah blah, 1995. We believe you have much to contribute based on your portfolio and academic record. I am also pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of the summer, summer program's tuition and fees. Blah cool. blah blah blah. I am so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans, like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. That is heartbreaking mm -hmm. and awful and the worst. Joyce, a complete understanding. Richard Greenbrier, this PhD. Is her, her grandfather. grandfather, yeah. Why are the faces Whoa. cut out? Whoa. Oh, that's not good. They said he went crazy, right? I mean, yeah. I guess. Dear Terrence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book and... An author's first public published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in this subject matter, and author's work is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in and in this report, I believe you work your work was successful, but lens, but the lens through which the personal shows the personal the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible de dementors science fictional oh. del ex deuce ex death ex machina the great author speaks of their life's milieu and clear de blah 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 i'm a douchebag congratulations you're survive on your surviving the great ordeal that is publication and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap it up oh I'll be hungrily, but I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better. With a father's love and encouragement, dick. Dick Lord. That's not what you should say. At all. Oh, mom's citizenship. Cool. Wait, what? I think that's my mom's citizenship stuff. March 8th, 1950. How old Canada. Is she came from Canada. Oh. Was there a light already on, or did we turn that on? That light was already on, but we'll go over there in a minute. I want to see what's in here. Ooh. Hey, Sam. I'm writing you from... Okay, you can do that. From Multnomah Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone 
running this school has been to or Oregon, but it's cold and rainy and shit in as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you're here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you come, L. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. <gasps> There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. <laughs> okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. <laughs> right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. That was really, uh... Yeah. Girl Scout. Alright, so there's like hidden passages all over this. Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Cub Scout Set List. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Oh, I thought for a second they all knew. You know? Yeah. Uh, whoa. Dear Sam, today's Spanish lesson. I so hope you like the drawing I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You love Mexico. I think the nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out, of, out to get them. Oh, wait. Now that other story makes sense. Yeah. The first mate dying for real. Like, because they had a string that held them together magically. Yeah. Strongly, and then she hand the string and the string was broken yeah so like that was them breaking up maybe that was just me interpreting her story we haven't gotten to that point yet in like the letters and stuff possible yeah. though. there's just like it's uncoming yeah and then i think of them together out there in the world and us together and i start thinking of you again I lie here in bed and i almost feel you i've been trying to save it up for when we're together oh oh I haven't done a good job, okay, but I tried. You understand what she's saying, right? I think so, but I, I don't... You don't want to think about that about high schoolers? <laughs> no, it's not that. I just, like... I I don't understand, like, why it would, met, like, save it up. Like, that's like... Save up my energy. That's like a guy thing to yeah, say. Yeah, Like, I I'm know. saving up my semen oh, for like, you. Oh, like, yeah, like, saving everything for you, babe. And I'm like, whatever, I'm gonna go have ten orgasms now. <laughs> like, and still have another one tomorrow. Like, yeah. Women don't really need to save it up. Actually, the more it happens, the more it happens. Yeah. It, it ha makes more happen. Yeah. So give them as many as possible. Oh, and ca they'll still ask for more. Yeah. Um, okay, enough about that. <laughs> that makes that. it sound like you're saying they can never be good enough. <laughs> you're never going to be good enough. <laughs> Can't satisfy the thirst. You know, because the more you, you quench it, the thirstier they get. <laughs> <laughs> so thirsty. <laughs> they just get thirstier and thirstier. That's why they call it the thirst. <laughs> okay, enough about that. <laughs> Your last letter got me to the date got to me the day before we started driving back north we'll be racing this we'll be racing this letter home i get home first we can read it together and yes i'm taking tons of photos we have to spend so much time in the dark room 
Lani. Mmm. You just spent a lot of time in the dark room. X-ray specs. Oh my gosh, I used to have a messenger bag with that was covered in pins. Of course you did. Uh, yeah, because I was a cool kid. I'm shocked. That's what that all the cool kids did. <gasps> Safe. Whoa. Furnace. Now we need to find the combination for this. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming we'll find it somewhere not too difficultly because... I don't think anything's gonna happen. I know it won't, but it, I know, I know it won't. That's kind of like when I freak out about going into my parents' basement, and I'm like, no, nothing's gonna happen because, like, I'm in my parents' house and it's fine. But I still end up like running up the stairs because you have to turn off. Oh no, I still do that too. Okay. I'm an adult. I'm fully. What the fuck? What is that? I don't know. 